Hi, second graders. Today for reading, we have a few goals. <clears throat> the first is that we're gonna stop, wonder, and keep questions in our mind to try to answer. We're gonna learn strategies for answering questions, including gaining information from the pictures and the text. And we're gonna keep track of our questions to be investigated, but realize that not all questions are answered. So today we're going to continue to ask questions as we read. Um, and often, the more we learn, the more we wonder. Sometimes information is brand new to us, so we actually want to know more about that information. Today, we're going to mark um, our text with a post-it and draw and write our questions when they pop into our minds. We're actually going to use a template that looks like this um, to put our questions and our answers. I'll show that to you in a little while. So. Uh, thoughtful readers always ask questions when they're reading, and we're going to learn how to answer the questions we ask. Uh, we're going to look at a book called Biggest, Strongest, and Fastest, and I want you to look at the cover, and I want you to see this picture of a cheetah, and I want you to think about <clears throat> what are some uh, things you're thinking or questions you have about this cheetah. You can pause and talk with somebody at home. Um, to me, it looks like this cheetah is moving. Um, even in the picture, it looks like it's moving, and I wonder um, how fast can it run? Um, is it chasing something? Is he hunting and wants to eat something? And I wonder what kind of animal the cheetah might be trying to catch. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. We'll be learning information from both the pictures and the words, and then we're gonna stop and wonder about it. And we're gonna see if we can find the answers to our questions. So we're gonna keep our questions in mind, and we'll see if we can answer them after we do some reading. Okay, I want you to watch as I, uh, well, I guess we're gonna watch this video, as we read the words and view the pictures. And I'm gonna to think to myself, uh, what are some questions I might have uh, about this reading? Okay, I kind of skipped forward a little bit um, in the book um, to this page of the giraffe. And I'm going to look at the picture before I read the page. And uh, you can't see real well up there. She's going to read it in a second. But at the top there, it does say the tallest animal is the giraffe. So I hear my inner voice asking a question. I'm wondering, how tall are giraffes? And I'm gonna share my question out loud with you, but when I'm reading on my own, <clears throat> it would be my inner voice that is asking that question. So I'm going to write my question on a post-it. Um, so I'm actually gonna do that here. So my question was, how tall are Okay, and I'm going to keep that question in mind while I'm reading so that maybe I can answer my own question. Okay, we're going to listen to this page and I want you to keep um, my question in mind of how tall are giraffes. And um, I'm going to pause if I hear the answer to my question. That's amazing. The tallest animal is a giraffe. Male giraffes grow as tall as 19 feet. The females are a little shorter. With their great height and long, flexible necks, giraffes can eat leaves that other grazing animals cannot reach. Okay, I heard it in there. I heard her say male giraffes grow as tall as 19 feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my answer here, 19 feet, and I'm gonna put an exclamation because that is very tall and very surprising. So um, 19 feet is, is, is taller than the ceiling, um, and I found an answer to my question, so I put it in my chart here next to my question as my answer, okay? Um, so I want you to notice some things that I did. I stopped and wrote down my question about the giraffe. I noticed how tall it was and I wrote it down. 
and I put my question right next to my answer. And it didn't take very long for me to find the answer to my question. But I want you to know that that is not always going to be the case. Sometimes we're going to have to dig a little deeper to find the answer to our question. Okay, I've skipped ahead a little bit in our story, and I'm looking at this picture of, an, of a huge snake. And over here, it actually says, there are many kinds of large snakes, but the anaconda is the biggest. So I have some questions before I move on. My first question is, how big is the anaconda? Okay. Another question I have is, does it squeeze its prey? I did it again, sorry. Its prey to kill it? And then I have one more question, and that is, what does it eat? Okay, so I have three questions from this page. I've put them on my questions chart here, and then I'm going to read to see if those questions are answered. So we are going to listen here to see if we can answer those questions that I've asked. There are many kinds of large snakes, but the anaconda is the biggest. Anacondas can grow to be over 25 feet long and weigh 400 pounds. They wait in trees and drop onto their prey. A hungry anaconda can swallow a whole deer or goat. That in comparison to the person. That is a okay, so some of my questions were answered there. I learned how big is an anaconda. It is 25 feet long and it weighs 400 pounds. Um, and then I did hear what it eats. I heard that they eat deer and goats. Okay, but I did not hear about this question. Does it squeeze its prey to kill it? Okay. So sometimes our, our questions are not going to be answered as easily as we would like for them to be. Now, lucky for us, we do have our resource of Epic um, that we can look up things like this. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to go over to Epic and I'm going to type in anacondas and I'm going to see if I can answer this question in a book in Epic that I wasn't able to answer in our book here. Okay, so I came over to Epic and I just typed in anacondas and there was a book that was called Snakes That Squeeze and I thought, you know what, that is probably going to answer my question. So I flipped through and I found this page that says, they use their muscles to squeeze their prey to death. And stricter squeeze so hard that their prey's blood cannot flow to its heart and brain. When the prey is dead, the snake swallows it whole. Okay, so now I can go back to my chart and I can say, yes, right? It does squeeze its prey to kill it. So like I said earlier, the how tall are giraffes, that was a really quick answer. But sometimes our answers don't come as easy and we have to kind of look elsewhere um, to find our answer to a question. So this is your job today. In our reading folder on Schoology, I have put a blank uh, chart like this. You need to type in the name of the book that you're going to choose on Epic. Um, so I'm going to write mine in here. And then I want you to look for questions that you might have as you're reading and go to the chart and put the questions in. Then if you come across an answer, I want you to put it in the answer. 
Now, one thing about this, I'm going to put yes, but I'm going to put a little dash here and say I found it in the book Snakes That Squeeze because I did not find it in the book Biggest, Strongest, Fastest. Okay, so I know that I got that from a different source. So let me kind of re show you how to do this. So I want you to choose a nonfiction book and epic. So say you want to read a book. I know a lot of you like cats. I want to read a book about cats. Okay. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to say nonfiction. Okay. And there's so many cat books in here. Okay. So say I want to read, oh, I really like kittens. So I'm going to read this book about kittens. Okay. And if I get to a page where there's a question, okay, I'm going to go back to my chart. I'm going to put my question in, and then I'm going to continue reading and try to answer my question. If I get to the end of the book and I haven't answered my question, I can search in other cat books on Epic and try to find the answer. So this one was kittens. Maybe I can find another book about, uh, oh, here, baby cat. So maybe if I go to this book, it will give me answers to my questions about kittens. So that is your work for today. Remember when you get finished with your Schoology assignment, just hit a um, submit assignment so that I can see it. Um, and I think that this should be a pretty easy assignment. Um, just keep those questions in mind, right? And try to find the answer to those questions. And sometimes it's more difficult than others, okay? Good luck.